Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nona Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the trim tool which is within the crop tear um, category but let's go ahead and cover the trim. Let's go ahead and open up the Final Cut Pro, go into our project here and uh, we have this footage here that we used actually the crop tool on and we're going to go ahead and reset this and go hit this reset button in the top right hand corner. Now just to show you guys real quick, let me slow it down here. I'm going to go, you're going to make sure the clip is first selected. Make sure your timeline bar is on the actual clip. That way you can see what you've edited, you're editing. Go ahead and open up the inspector pane, the right hand side right here in the center. You can hit command four to also open it as a shortcut key. Now, and then crop here. Um, we already cropped this, just this here, which in our previous tool, which we don't want anymore. We're gonna hit this little reset button. It looks like a back arrow or almost like a U-turn. So go ahead and click on this and we'll reset that entire video, which is a video. Um, and it will reset it back to its original defaults. And uh, this can also be done to um, any cropping, any trim, and uh, Ken Burns all also can be the, done to images as well. But let's go ahead and use this trim tool, which is what automatically starts off when you first open up the crop tool. It's a trim, and basically what trim does, as you can tell, it just completely eliminates whatever's on the left-hand side. If you're adjusting the left-hand side, then right, and then uh, you also got the top you can eliminate and then also you can eliminate the bottom just like that and this comes in handy when you're trying to do uh, side by side for example you could have one footage one another clip on top of here and then you want to eliminate just half of it and then also you want to basically maybe even eliminate some bottom and you can make just like basically another just another screen right here at the top it's really good overlay to to use this as well if you're trying to do an overlay of some sort something but and also, you can leave any questions in the comment section below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible if you have any questions on how you could use this additionally and to further benefit you. But that's that's really the trim tool there. You could also go here and choose the little uh, the highlight this option here. And when you're in the trim tool, you can also adjust it manually of what you want to cut out here. You can grab even a corner and then cut out uh, just a certain point portion here. So it's different than the crop tool because the crop tool simply zooms in on a specific point or it just crops to that one location. This um, cuts out that portion, all those other parts completely entirely. Like it's like no longer will no longer be there, which is uh, it's very, that's why it's in the same crop, the same category as the crop tool because it just, it's just a different way of cropping something basically. But that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said, be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. Thank you and later. So let my life be